This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 328, How to Find Your Passion, Your Unfair Advantage, and Make Money, by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're just finding us. This is where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship. And now let me ask you a question. Is your Wi-Fi slowing down at the office or when you're working from home? Then it's time for you to upgrade your Wi-Fi. With Netgear Wi-Fi 6 Business Solutions, you get the very best Wi-Fi performance, security, and coverage to keep you connected whether you're at the office, working from home, or on the go. They deliver unmatched speeds, coverage, enterprise-level security, and four times the network capacity. Plus, seamless mobile management helps you keep your guests and employees connected and your data protected, providing visibility anywhere, anytime. Visit netgear.com slash business and use code OPTIMAL10 at checkout to save 10%. Today's post is from popular writer James Altucher, and I'm gonna share some more about him after the reading. So for now, let's get right to it as we start optimizing your life. How to Find Passion, Your Unfair Advantage, and Make Money by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. Dean had severe dyslexia and couldn't read, grew up in a trailer park, got forgotten in school. People said he wouldn't amount to anything. He didn't go to college. I didn't have any money, he said, but I loved fixing things, building things. I wanted to follow my passion. Now he's worth $50 million, and he told me how he did it. First, I want to say I spent 12 years of my life with no other goal than to make money. Those were the worst years of my life. I had fake friends. I was miserable. Every time I made money, I lost it. I just hated my life. If I have any regret, it's that I didn't stick to what I loved. We only have one life. I honestly feel like I wasted 12 years of mine. I kind of hate Dean right now also, because he seemed to skip those 12 years. He says, I knocked on a million doors, got a lot of rejections. I guess I learned how to handle rejection at an early age, Dean said. Why were you knocking on doors? What were you asking for? I was trying to find someone who'd sell me a house with no money down. It was ridiculous to most people until I found Mary Lopresti. Mary sold Dean his first house and he paid zero dollars for it. She was a great old Italian lady. I befriended her and after a month of pasta dinners on Sunday at her house, I found out what she wanted and we made a deal. What did she want? She wanted a little bit more money for the house than anyone was willing to pay. Because before her husband passed, he said, this is the price, don't sell it for a dollar cheaper. She wanted 125,000. Everyone was offering her 90,000. Dean says, when I found out her price, I could structure a deal around it. He paid her $2,000 a month. She moved to Florida. Dean redid the place, got a mortgage on it and paid her in full. He said, I was supposed to pay her off in five years. I paid her in a year and a half. She sent me a Christmas card every year since. And that was my first deal. All of the smart people passed on Mary Lopresti's house. She wanted too much, so they moved on. I was young and dumb, Dean said. But we all need to go back to that sometimes. Then I bought the next house and the next house. Now I have over a hundred buildings. But he said to me, I get it that you don't want to buy a home. Most home buyers make a mistake. They put all their money in one investment without having an unfair advantage. To buy a house, find out the houses in probate, the ones where someone died and the kids live far away and will take any offer. Or if a couple is going through a divorce or tax trouble. All of this is public info. It's amazing to me how people don't try to get an unfair advantage. They buy at top dollar at the top of the market. You can only make money if you have an unfair advantage, else everyone would be doing it. So what is an unfair advantage? You are passionate about something. You put in the extra work to find where the opportunities are. Without obsession, you won't be able to do this. You figure out how to scale the method of finding your unfair advantage. This is the key to monetizing your passion. You go meta on your passion. You repeat and repeat and repeat with as many passions as you want. So Dean made money from real estate. Now he just taught me how to do it. And he's taught many others. But I want to do it. I'm not passionate about real estate. And just because Dean sort of changed my mind about buying real estate, that's not the reason I hate him. Dean told me something interesting. I know people in almost every industry who get this unfair advantage, no matter what they're interested in. I know a woman who has eczema and runs an online course on how to cure it. She makes $200,000 a year. I know someone who collects toys from the 1800s. 
I know someone who is into sports and monetizes it using an unfair advantage. I know someone who designed their own t-shirts and made a killing. On and on. So now I want to help others do it, like I did it, like so many people I know have done it. It reminds me of Matt Berry, an early podcast guest. He was a Hollywood screenwriter and hated it when he was told to rewrite Crocodile Dundee Part 3. So he quit, got divorced, lost everything. He loved sports, but wasn't an athlete. He started blogging for $100 a post about fantasy sports, and then he started an online community around fantasy sports. And now, he's the only anchor in the world on fantasy sports for ESPN. When I walk with him in the street, many people stop him to say thanks. I'm jealous. I created a link for your listeners to check it out on the podcast, he told me. Tell them to go to jameskbb.com by February 26th, he said. I'm forcing my daughters to do this. Message to my daughters. Go to jameskbb.com or listen to my podcast. 1. Figure out your passion. 2. Find an unfair advantage to make money. 3. Scale it by teaching other people how to do it. 4. Then scale that by sharing all your knowledge. And 5. Make $100 million a year, like Dean, whom I no longer hate. If you haven't found your unfair advantage in your passion, you're competing against someone else who has. You just listened to the post titled How to Find Your Passion, Your Unfair Advantage, and Make Money by James Altucher of jamesaltucher.com. You might have heard Dr. Neil over at Optimal Health Daily always recommends Indeed first when his students are looking for jobs. He recommends it for candidates, but we also highly recommend it for hiring. It's the first place you should go because the moment you post a sponsored job, you get quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your sponsored job description. And that's in part thanks to the fact that if you invite candidates through Indeed Instant Match, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than those who only see it in search. Plus, with Indeed, you can do all of your hiring in one place, even interviewing. They make it super simple. Just attract, interview, and hire. According to Talent Nest, Indeed delivers four times more hires than all other job sites combined. Join more than three million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. Get started right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash startup. Get a $75 credit at indeed.com slash startup. That's indeed.com slash startup. Offer valid through September 30th. Terms and conditions apply. And I want to thank James, who is an entrepreneur, a writer, investor, trader, and podcaster. And on that podcast of his, he has interviews with a bunch of talented people like Nancy Cartwright, Sarah Blakely, Tony Robbins, Ariana Huffington, and many more. That podcast is called The James Altucher Show, and it's always in the top charts in the business category of Apple Podcasts for very good reason. He's published 20 books and founded or co-founded over 20 companies. So come by jamesaltucher.com to learn and read more from him. He's always got a unique take on things. But that is going to do it for today. Hope you have a great one and I'll be back here with you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.